missing Pharaoh. So after all we went through to cross the desert, we can't meet Pharaoh. And after you've all risked your lives to help me, maybe it's better that we didn't find... ...find him after all. Yeah. If we had to fight him now, we probably wouldn't make it out. Think about it, though. Pharaoh can fly. He's free to be pretty much anywhere at any time. Tracking him down will be a tall order unless he's got a lair somewhere in the area. Ugh. No one's saying that meeting him will be impossible. We might get some information if we ask around in the town. You're right. Thank you. Both of you. Words that we can't access. so far away. I'm afraid our village doesn't have anything particularly special to offer. Yongend is weird. This town's weird. It's in the middle of the desert, but look at all the plants. It sort of reminds me of Mantake. Yeah, but there is something different. Really? There may be more here than meets the eye. Maybe the truth is hidden away. Leave it to Judith to put things into perspective. The better the intuition, the more you see. Intuition. Oh boy. How about you, little girl? Are you people from somewhere else? Isn't it pretty here with all the flowers blooming? Indeed. Kind of too idyllic. You came across the sea? You must be so tired. You've been on a ship for a long time, yes? What? Oh, last year? What's that? Oh, um, they don't seem to know what last year is. The town is currently facing a terrible crisis the threat of giant monster attack. Everyone said we can accomplish anything with Sage on our side, but is it really alright to believe that? Big old lake in the middle of the desert. Kids must be worried. If only they didn't come looking for us. Oh. Parents. What do you have to say, girl? That box! Do you know something about this box? Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum, too? Uh, yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Um, he's dead. Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Do we travel You're back love. in time? Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. Damn, son. Do we travel back in time? You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Uifan. Mm, 
Chinese. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. Is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Wow, is this the clear seal crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. Definitely a treasure a even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? I don't know. Sages. The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. Hopefully the fan I just turned on doesn't come across too much on the mic. A Critian? <laughs> oh, just like you. Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emid Hill in Kerbakram. But I don't think that sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. I'm... I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So Long Chi set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? <laughs> How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. Interesting. This time might be strange indeed. They say that history repeats or, itself. Or they live Who really long knows? Life. Is that Sage in this town? Where does... Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. All right. Yes. Maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the clear CL crystal to the sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, let's go. Good. Mm. Assuming it's a big old building. Here, repeat. Have a skewer. <coughs> that looks quite tasty. Boiled eggs are the best part. Nonsense! You just Daikon is the centerpiece, Patty. Patty. Daikon! Hold up now! That's unexpected. Usually you're happy with anything you can chew through, Rita. That's just how good skewers are. But both Rita and the old man are wrong. Where are they mistaken? The true star of skewers is fish cakes. Especially the white ones. Mm. <laughs> fish cakes, is it? And repeat agrees. Skewers, I like well, meat. I don't mind as long as it's Not tasty. fish meat, but you know beef or something, or goat, or even chicken. Ah, oh, Rupee, you found a friend for you. If you have a question, you should ask the sage. You can really be a pen I'm married to you, I'm Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Mayor, young, unreliable, the sage isn't. Something is going on. Our struggle, a traitor, you're a stranger. Yes, I am. Sage is Excuse me. Ooh, it's him. Wait here, boy. Huh? Hey, that's... You're... Who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You. How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. 
For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lab. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blastia, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage. But forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? <laughs> the way Patty talks. Uh, so cute. Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh, man. Just when I found one. The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? That's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. <laughs> Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Endelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. Endelikea. Not Entelechia. But what would the Entelechia have against me? Against a child of the full moon? What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelechia themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle... Give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelechea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Ooh, I know she's not gonna take that well. Do not ask of them again. Go. Where do you get off? Rita. Hmm. Interesting glance. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm. Maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? That child of the full moon. Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named Child of the Full Moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Mm. Is there, like, a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure. 
But maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you, too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. Okay, there are things good. I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apatheia myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. That level of DLC. Clearly, uh, don't get to feel the full experience. Experience of the game of battling and grinding like other players would. So maybe my connection isn't as strong. The truth is, the villagers' faith in me has no even the sage's hope. Oh, you're the mayor. Tsuwarashi, I must. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. Oh, I just baby. wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all in our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, I ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem! So... Have you been to the Colosseum? They say the atmosphere is like a banquet of madness. Is it true? Subarashi... So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon and the Antilochia. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Entilakea, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life, and I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <sighs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation.
You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation. Yes. Gotcha. able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongress? That might be best. But would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so... I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city. Yeah, I like that idea. Maybe it could be this town. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Mm, you're right. Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. So. So, to the one. I have nothing left to say to you. <clears throat> I'm just standing there. You're not gonna follow him? What's the point? He's not gonna talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apathea? When the air crene went berserk, Regay, I mean, Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the apathea is what's causing the air crane to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, hypothesis. it could be a valid Ooh. hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was apathea nearby? And the yeah. air crane and cave mock too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the apathea has been damaging the whole world's air crane little by little, and a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. How exactly are you gonna test it, girl? <laughs> You know, this house is a lot smaller on the inside than it seems on the outside. It's bigger on the outside than the inside. <laughs> She's always in the exit. <laughs> You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes. I, I guess I'm a pretty restless thing, person. Mary. I was thinking the same thing. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. 
Where is Bao? Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? Mm-hmm. No. Must be your imagination. Female, please. Would you like a skewer? I love your skewers. Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not, but I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. Aye, but... You're used to it, huh? Aye. I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily going to listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. Mm, I'm okay thinking, Patty. I have a similar mindset nowadays. Uh, fear you, in any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. <laughs> it's true. Mmm. Mm, this is good. Didn't I tell ya? Not the way she talks. Try I dang. How would you like another skewer? Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados, but I am curious about the Entelikea too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Belia. I'd like to meet Belius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really- Belius? Yeah. Belius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. Well, that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon, which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? Y yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Entelikea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Entelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantake. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, 
There were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Aye, that I will. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to... Yorn gonna man take her totally know, different. It's much cooler here. Maybe it's the ocean. The ocean is very nice, yeah? It's a beautiful place, too. But it seems boring. I wonder what the folks here do for fun. I kind of like it. This kind of calm, quiet village suits me. I can't stand loud people. Oh, that's gotta hurt, old man. She was talking about the town, not about me. Hmm, maybe. D do you really hate me that much? Can a clear CL crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. She was probably thinking about the negative connotation of being realist. She didn't want that negative association. I got no time to think. Just so beat him senseless, then you'll win. Until that positive reframing thing, Estavis, was made. So now she, I guess, will be fine with the term realist. This will make good practice. Don't get careless. <laughs> Best you can do. You're gone. All right, who's next? I got no time to think. Just beat him.
Let's have a good time. You're gone. That's a dirty trick. You're gone. This is grace. This is my victory pose. What the hell is that? Holy shit. Azure! Goodbye, cruel world.
you away. Hey, I'm using that was way too strong. Watch out. This one's tough. Oh man. Destruction field. Destruction. Destruction field. Destruction. Destruction field. I'm sharp and blades. Run through that which blocks our future. I'm just getting started. Holy shit. This thing is difficult. I died like twice in Patty Slate, my 14,000 experience. Great, 11.6. I'm not done yet! Hooray for the old man! That's the logical outcome. Hooray! Duke certainly has an air of mystery about him. He's a real man. Patty prefers masculine fellas, I see. I thought he was pretty cold. Would it have killed him to listen to us a little? Maybe he was caught off guard. He did just kind of show up out of nowhere. Did one of us say anything rude to him? Probably you, Rita. Ha! Ow! Ow! Hey, no hitting! I wonder if he's always lived here in Yormgen. Who knows? I didn't get the feeling he'd been here all that long, though. Duke is pretty weird, but this whole town is pretty weird, too. It is weird, but you can live a quiet, comfortable life here. Piece of cake! Don't get cocky! Leave it to me! That's over. Intrigue mind. Let's eliminate them! As your edge! As your edge!
Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. We're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. Yep. Now those kids can be reunited with their parents. You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Oh, it's him. Kumor! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children! I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Oh, this idiot. Send these random people to fight that monster. Now get moving this instant! That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so... Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. So you did pick that up? Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the king. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kumor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? M me Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kumor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, <laughs> I'm sure I could arrange for them daughter. to go in your place. Now be line. gone with you. Carol, don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. <laughs> she got binoculars. Fakers. Ooh. What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach! I will find out who's responsible for- I've gotta hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. 
Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Oh, again at the inn. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmore. Is he gonna be our next victim of assassination? Oh, you've returned safe from... Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Thank that Qmore punk is really a lousy guy. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? It's probably some kind of disease. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. I don't know, but at this rate, they're going to send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. No, that can't happen. If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Yeah, Estelle. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person... Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita, don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Qmore out of your mind for the time being. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Qmore, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. Yep. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now, but... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. <laughs> the only cure for stupidity is death. Oh no, you're thinking of assassination. She's sleeping like she's in a freaking tomb. It's death. Lily sleep. She's sleeping a bit more normally. She's sleeping the way I expect her to. But still, it's just like. Like she didn't cough. I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. Q more. Why would you talk for just come in, kill him and leave? No. Where it needed. He's living just like Estelle. I guess all the ability to do. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. You, no, Yuri, it's you. What are you doing here? Someone, someone, come quick! Is he in the same inn as us? He's you would cross swords with a noble? I should just kill the foolish assassin. Just like grip and wake up. Very well. I... No! How oh, could they... You talk too much, Qmore. The time's come for you to make your exit. Do, do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? Ugh. Seriously. Oh, it's in the desert. Wait! 
I'm not the one to blame. I've just been following orders. I had no choice. I don't know if you're this weak, you more. Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. Wait, how about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start. I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. Go ahead. There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, then what might that... No, stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer, you beast! I am Kilmor, the captain of the Imperial Knights, the man destined to become Commandant! Mm-mm. Ah! Oh, this idiot. I, I beg you! Spare my life! Please, no! Not like this! I, I, I don't want to go like this! Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? Is that really if I am? She died from the end of the fight. Sand. That's pretty much it, friend. Hmm. Uh oh. My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. I'll be waiting, down at the lake. What the hell, that girl? They got different emblems. Who gave him these orders? Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Yes, it's a great relief to know the people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. That was amazing timing! But Qmore might just cause more pain somewhere else. You watch! Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time! Right, Yuri? Uh -uh. Oh, uh, yeah. Yuri? Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. What happened to Patty? She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Shut up. Huh? The old man's asleep already? That was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. Hmm. Down by the lake. I'm gonna be some food. It's good, my boy. Why don't you have a seat? Mm, it's a protection blast chain there. You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill two more? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. Uh, that's your place, not mine. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Yuri, you...
The laws have always been the tools of whoever happens to hold all the chips. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. If the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, sorry you have to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. That's not what I'm saying at all. <laughs> They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is, and I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen? Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Captain, I finally found you! What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quick. <clears throat> Captain! Understood. Sir! Yuri? I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri, if you insist on walking down the path of a criminal. Oh, wait! Repeat! Yuri... So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are... You can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Hey. It's true the things you've done are against the law, but I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. <sighs> if you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. You seem like he was in a hurry. No. I'm gonna continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is... Here's to the road ahead. Thanks. Oh, I haven't sawed logs like that for a good long... Yeah, it's called oversleeping. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Hey, old man, your eyes are all droopy. What? That's not good. Jeez. Huh? There are fewer knights than before. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolic. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. Mm, I don't know why I think they went back, Patty. Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Coliseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knight. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Paul Estrale would be outmaneuvered that easily by the knights. I get the feeling this is going to get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. 
If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? If I can't go to Nordopolica, I can't get on a ship. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor-wearing bunch. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crane and Kados. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. Things are bound to improve here in Mantake, now that Flynn's liberated the town. They did allow the ringleader to escape, though. Humor? Flynn will catch him in no time, right, Yuri? Hmm? Oh yeah, sure he will. Is something wrong? He looked troubled. Estelle's not her usual perky self, either. Th that's not true. I'm as happy as you all are that Mantake's been freed. If you say so. Potions oh. Market. These things saved my life. I'm going to get them like a psycho. Are you going to the Weasand of Kados? Yes, we are. Why do you ask? The Imperial Knights have sealed off passage through Kados. It's not just here. They've set up blockades at all of the routes through the mountains. Blockades? Why would they... I don't know all the details, but I heard that it has something to do with some danger in Nordopolica. What should we do? We need to get to Nordopolica before the new moon. I wish I could it. help. But they wouldn't even let me through, and I have a travel permit. Are you a member of the Fortune's Market? Yes. How'd you get your permit? The Empire issues travel permits to Fortune's Market so that its members can travel wherever they want. At least, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. But the Imperial Knights wouldn't let me go any further. I'm going back to Mantake, since there's no way to get around them. Should we go back to Mantake and chill out, too? Hmm. What are we gonna do? Do you think Flynn ordered the blockade? Mm, I couldn't say. Either way, we can't afford to be stuck. Yes, it'll be a lot of trouble if we miss the new moon. But I don't think they'd let us through, even if we asked nicely. Well, to be honest, we can go take a look and think about how to get in. The hard part will only come once we've gotten inside. What do you mean, once we've gotten inside? They set up blockades to make it hard to get out of the mountains. Getting inside shouldn't be nearly as tough. I think that much is safe to us. Well then, should we go back to Mantake to do some final preparation? No, we're fine. Let's Your friend is quite talented, considering the ease with which he saved Mantake. Who, Flynn? That was nothing for him. You know him really well, don't you, Yuri? Well, we've hung around together since we were kids. You don't hang around together much anymore, though. <sighs> Yuri? The Flynn Brigade? So, that's the block. Yeah, looks like it was Flynn's Brigade's doing after all, but... What are those monsters doing here? Perhaps they've been tamed by the knight? This brigade is reminding me of Flynn less and less. What the hell is Flynn doing with his knights anyway? With hardcore tactics like this, there ain't any doubt in my mind this has something to do with the talk of Bellius engineering the Great War. So, how do we get past this checkpoint? Huh? Seriously? Let's do that! And then? <laughs> what could they be talking about? Old man, do you mind keeping it down? Sorry. So now that sounds like fun. How about this? Emerald 
What the hell? Stop it! Let's go now. Hey, hey! Don't leave this old man behind! What the? Come back, you! Yuri Lowell! See ya! Have fun! That was pretty slick, old man. What are you saying? That was all thanks to Patty. Humans work a lot harder when they get rewarded, don't they? Rewarded? What are you talking about? That's our little secret. It's just between us, right, Patty? So annoying. It's our little secret. What is that nonsense? It's probably some useless promise of theirs. Anyway, let's keep moving. Only the Empire has enough power to cut off all the ways in and out of a whole town. Well, the Guild's power is totally different. The Union would never try something like this. It's the Empire's style, crush problems with everything they've got. What are they after? Who do they think they are, sealing off all the roads like this? I think the answer to that lies in Nordopolica. We should hurry before we're caught. But you're going bye bye. Just Night Guard Quieta. Night Halberd F Quieta. Pretty fun. Hey, this is no game. Seriously. Now that's what I'm talking about. Combining Patty's brain with my technique. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, but they went and sealed off a dangerous place like this just to isolate Nordopolica. These guys mean business. Seriously, <laughs> even bringing monsters to help? Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. I can't believe that Flynn would order something like this. Hey! What kind of person is Flynn? He's Yuri's friend. I've heard they've known each other since they were children. Sometimes orders coming down from the top don't make sense. The meaning can get lost going down the chain of command. When a brigade gets big and famous enough, things can start to get out of hand. You certainly know a lot about these things. It makes sense for someone in Altos. Things can end up like that no matter what the organization. What worries me is how much of a hand Flynn had in all this. Maybe he was trying to keep you from I'm sure we'll get a good understanding of that as soon as we can get to Nordopolica. That's right. But we should be on our guard, even though I find it hard to believe that they've conquered Nordopolica by four. Yeah, I think the Polistrale would have a problem with that. Sorry, Rita. You won't get much time to investigate the Air Krenning. Ugh. Oh, well. I don't have much... Exactly. Yuri sure is enthusiastic. He won't say it, but I reckon he's just worried about his friend. Do Flynn and Yuri really have that strong of a bond? Hmm. Well, you could call it strong, I guess. Or maybe... What? Are you jealous? Hmm. I'll have to hold a strategic meeting to stop Yuri from being snatched away from me. So, what was that deal you were talking about? A deal? What sort of deal? With who? You said something about a deal with the old man when we were in Kados. I... Don't tell me you forgot. Uh, no. I haven't forgotten. She forgot. So it's a secret, is it? I'll tell you, Yuri, since I can trust you. I appreciate it. If he works hard here, I'll teach him Judy's measurements. <laughs> you really know how his mind works, don't you? It's not exactly a mystery. Hmm? 
What's up? Shouldn't we be hurrying along? Hey, you're not as young as you used to be. Let's take it easy. Seconded! Well, but what do you mean? Let's work together! This looks easy. Don't get careless. Yo, destruct us, spider web. Have a full Come, oh silver light. Ha, oh blade of noble light. Overpower even in. All right, here we go. Yeah. Try not to take too long, okay? Sure. It's completely inactive now, and it was overflowing so much before. Is that how the air was controlled? How could a monster do something like that? Is that air crene safe now? We'll be in trouble if air shoots out of it like before. It doesn't look like you have to worry about that. So why'd the air suddenly shoot out before? That's what's puzzling me. Maybe it was just a natural phenomenon? The probability of that is low at best. If that was the case, it should be emitting air at regular intervals. If air were emitted that frequently, it'd have an effect on the environment. Like how the plants grew so unnaturally in Cave Mock. Looks pretty normal around here to me. So perhaps something else interfered with the air crene and caused it to discharge air? What could do? Only a formula or blastia could affect air like that. <laughs> Damn, that would be our fan club. Seems like these knights are just as dedicated as the captain himself. Rita, let's go. Are you done looking at the air crane? Just let me think a little more. If you just need time to think, you'll have plenty of time once we've gotten out. Mmm, all right, all right. If the air crane was disturbed by... Did you figure anything out? It's still too early to say. I've got some leads, but it's nothing I can be sure of yet. Well, make sure and let us know when you've nailed it down. I will. All right, let's head out. And it'll probably involve you. I feel like an easy win. Let me at him! That's over. Spider. You'll be gone soon enough. You're gone! 
You like the light of noble light? He's indestructible. Destruction You like that? Uh, 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 the sign of victory! Yeah. Oh. Leave it to me! It's a breath! Holy power! Smile! First name, Ray Take cover. Stealth too. Huh. Guess it's only natural they're guarding this end too. Patty, do you have any ideas for getting through? Hmm. Raven, can you do something like you did before? Best not to press your luck when the knights are taking their work so serious. They don't look that serious from here. I say, woe is me! How has our illustrious Schwan Brigade ever been reduced to playing backup for Flynn? Enough complaining. If you don't like it, we better produce some results. There they are! Capture them! They found us! What is this? You three, don't let him escape! Ah, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell! Hey, LeBlanc, it's been a while. Uh, and your highness! What are we gonna do? Oh well, here goes nothing. Wait! Attention! Y yes sir! Not sure what's going on, but now's our chance. <laughs> huh? They're well trained. Raven, what did you do? Ah, it's nothing. Enough standing around. They'll catch up in no time if we don't get moving. We can't miss this chance. Yeah, let's head for Nordopolica, quick. That's over. Fighting these monsters seems individual and must be strong on this planet. Hmm, not as many knights as I'd have guessed. Yeah, security looks normal even with all the commotion after the tournament. It did sound like they had their hands full with the monsters that managed to escape. Yeah, but it's too quiet. Especially compared to the checkpoints back at Kados. I think Raven's got it right. The knights are up to something, and I don't like it. But it looks like we can stay in town as long as we don't stand out. So we'll meet with Bellius on the evening of the new moon, which happens to be tonight. Let's stop by the inn to freshen up, and then go see about meeting him. I'm finally gonna be able to get rid of the Don's letter. Patty, what are you doing hiding over there? Don't you remember? A lot of things happened the last time she was here. Come on out. It'll be okay. Is it alright for me to be with you guys for just a little longer? Huh? Um, sure. We don't mind, do we? Right. It'd probably be best if we stuck together until we left town. I have a feeling that even if we parted ways here, we'd still end up meeting again real soon. So basically, there's no difference between us being together or not. 
I really don't get that log. I'm sure you're all heading in the direction of the Maristella. Yeah, I don't get that either. In other words... In other words, you want to come with us, right? Rather than traveling by myself, traveling with you guys is more profitable. If you want to come, then come. At this point, I really don't mind an extra travel companion or two. That's the spirit! I wonder if Flynn's Patty. already here somewhere. He has enough worldly knowledge, but still that young innocence that's trying to be mature and adult like with these types of words. That's the spirit, like she's giving you advice that you figured it out and she's the adult and she's saying that's the spirit. So as if she has some wisdom to her. Do you think? Maybe I know what she does, the childlike wisdom. When we finish up all our business here. I've got a few things I want to ask that guy. When you do, take me with you. He's still crying. Is everyone ready to go? Sh sure You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is pretty intimidating. Yep. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. But... Carol, you just don't know when to give up, do you? My, Patty, you've got nerves of steel. You're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Est. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself. About who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, let's go see Bellius. Just my imagination? Oh, it's that guild. We've come to meet with Bellius. Your... Oh. Weren't you the emissary sent by Dun Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through. You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to with- What? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But you can trust that we'll be even more tight-lipped than a giant clam. For sure. Let them pass. Duce, but I- I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay, then. We... Our leader, Melius, is... What's going on? Everybody still here? Yes. What the hell? Uh, Nine tail fox. Nine tail fox. And here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. I wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? 
The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palestrale. Mm. She's a intellectia. Intellectia. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think then that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built the city was... My brethren and I. If this city was built hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that would mean... Indeed. We have governed this city for ages. Wow! That's amazing! Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Intellikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Don has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly Your be brushed brother. aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. They remind me of the Sphinx from uh, the on Amazon. The Legend of Vox Machina Season 2. Said they, were, they were wife and husband in that. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. To you and being your brother. So some of you tear down cities and some of you run guilds. You Antilike are definitely interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Aye, that'd be true. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit, is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelise. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison, but what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die! You're pretty barbaric for a friend of Carol's. Who the hell is this little brat? Unfortunately, I don't give my name to rapscallions. <laughs> As if I really care. Uh, where's Nan? Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Colosseum about now. We hunting blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we mete out. Humans or no. If you won't attack... It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Who do they think they are? What a bunch of total clods! I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the hunting blades. 
What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the knights, I mean Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now, though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Piece of cake! Don't get cocky! <laughs> Our weapons are blades, magic, and teamwork. That's wonderful. But you're going bye bye. Oh, oh sharpened rage. Well, shine. Like an easy win. Don't get careless. Consider uh, Dragon armor. Strength. Who's next? Judgment upon the Oh, Caprice. Reaper. and deliver my enemy. Your soul shines. All right. Here we go. Yay! Could Nan have done that? You all right? Nats has gone to defend the Colosseum from the hunting bl Please, you If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've got to go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. The Coliseum is now under the authority of the Hunting Blades. Withdraw immediately. Nan, you've got to stop. Carol, what are you doing here? You know that fights between guilds are strictly forbidden by the Union. What are you talking about? This job was commissioned to us directly by the Union itself. What? Harry, what are you doing here? Hey, isn't that someone from the Union we met in Dongra? That's the Don's grandson, Harry. The Don's grandson? Just what in blazes is going on here, son? You're under the same orders from the Don yourself, right? To locate Apathea? Sure, but what does that have to do with all the commotion here? Judith! What's the matter? There! Nuts! Come on! Damn it! I wasn't done with them! Wait! I thought I ordered you to withdraw! Raven is with them, and he's an ally. Let them be. Nan. Oh, 
Aw, oh, down to your last friend? Why not play with us for a while? More of Belius's minions, huh? We're brave, Vesperia! I don't care how brave you are! Death to those who side with the monsters! Get ready. I'm taking you down. Man, these guys are just going crazy. Oh, looks like we got here in. You must be a healer. You've saved me. I wonder if Bellius is okay. Duce! Nats! You are unhurt! You would yet challenge me, humans? She looks like a nine-tailed fox. <laughs> Your kind is the root of all evil. The root of evil, Bellius? Well, you got it all wrong. Just all monsters serve evil. They must be hunted down. It it is up to us. To the hunting blades. These idiots have got rocks for brains. You! You monsters are all alike! Judy! Duce! I'll heal you! You mustn't! Your power is... No! W what can this mean? She reacted to Estelle's formula? But this is... What's going on? I was too late. What have I done? If this keeps up, it'll bring down the Colosseum. Duce Bellius! Please control yourself! Duce! We have no choice but to try and stop her with four. But we're dead if we hold anything back against someone like this. I can't believe it! But it doesn't look like we have a choice. Bellius. Estelle, wake up! Right. Here she comes! Kill or be killed, huh? I'm sorry, but I'm not getting killed here. Kill me! What is my... Power. The poison that Pharaoh talked about. Live. I, I don't want to do this. Do, do we really have to? I won't hold back. That's the only way, right?
Is it over? But why? It's over! Duce! What now? I never thought this would happen. I'm sorry. I... I... Worry. Not you were thinking only of saving me. Oh, I'm so sorry. I power corrupts, but you you are different. Never lose that kindness, the compassion you so readily show to others. Now, go to Pharaoh if you would learn of your just to Pharaoh. That's there is much I owe you. Do not harbor a grudge toward these people. Duce! No! W wait! No, I beg you, don't go! Bellius. Farewell. This is... Is this the same as what was in the case from the ghost ship? Anapatheia! What does that mean? Convey my soul! This cyano seal to my ally. Done, White Horse. Hmm. So, this must have been what Harry meant. Humans. We'll be taking that stone. Is this what you guys were after? Hope you don't think we'll just let it go. Then, we'll just have to pound on you. That's enough! Everyone throw down your weapon! Damn, look who's here. You! Take anyone still standing in the Coliseum into custody. We're gonna wind up in chains if we don't blow this scene. But we haven't done anything to warrant being arrested! I don't think they'd have any trouble cooking up a reason to put us behind bar. You're right. Escape is our best out. I've secured an escape. Hurry! Okay, we're getting out of here for now. No, I... I don't want to go anywhere. My power... It really is a poison. I, I thought I could help her, but... I only brought about her death. I couldn't save her. W what are you doing? There. You saved me, didn't you? What? Uh, but I... Let's move. Okay. Wait! Bellius, how could something like this happen? There was still so much we needed to ask. Yeah, 
Think of all the knowledge that only an Entelakea would have. Not to mention her perspective as the Duce of Palestrale. Why couldn't we have met her sooner? Yuri. Also, oh, her weird policy. We've no choice but to go out through the harbor, then. But what if the harbor's blockaded, too? Well, the Weasand of Kados is blocked off. If we have to get out of here, I'd say breaking out through the harbor is our best bet. Ah! Escaping by sea might be better, yet. Yeah. Exactly. Sorry, Patty, but can I ask you to pilot the ship? Aye, aye. Leave it to me. Time to show you what I can do. I hope it's actually got a new Ceres Blastia, though. Perfect. The... Hey, where's the old man? You don't need to worry about him. He'll turn up soon enough. Right. He's the sort of guy who shows up as soon as you start to feel relieved he's gone. Yuri Lowell! This is the end of the... Lady Estelis, you must return with us. Captain Flynn is worried about you. Witcher. But I... I... Estelle's not going back with you. All right, let's hurry to the harbor. Flynn! Looks like we can't put one over on this guy. Return Lady Estelise and the stone. Flynn, what do you want with the Apathea? So the knights are trying to get a hold of this thing, too. That's why the hunting blades were here. It's like what that guy in Jormgen said. The Apatheia brings only chaos to humanity. So it's true. Hand it over. Whoa, is he serious? Just what the hell are you doing? Using the military to get control of the city? That's taking things a bit far. Maybe you're carrying out your duty, but you can't just go around doing everything by force. Captain, awaiting order. I thought you were with the Knights to change things like that. I don't know why I'm the one who has to be saying this stuff. You know it full well yourself. <sighs> Cat got your tongue? I mean, how's this any different from what I've come to expect from the Empire? Are you gonna follow Rago and Kumor's examples? If I did, would you just kill me as well? Would you do away with me like you did Rago and Kumor? Huh? What is he? If you go and become a villain, you won't be giving me much choice. Yuri? You mind saving this charming little squabble for another time? We're sort of in a hurry, right? <laughs> Come on! Captain! What was Flynn saying about Yuri and Rago? Save it! You men, raise the anchor! Yeah, man, raise the anchor! Raven! Where did you come from? Don't suppose it'd be too much trouble to take one more with us. Hey, that's the... What's happening? Judy? Where's this power coming from? Is it the Saris Blast? Yeah! We broke through! The rudder handling's perfect! What's the deal with this formula? I've never seen anything like it. What? What are you doing? No! Stop! Why would you? This is the path I have chosen. 
You're that dragon freak! Judy, wait! Goodbye. Judith? Why? Why? <laughs> Our genius mage is given the Ceres Blastia her undivided attention. Sounds like the core on the new Blastia is pretty much totaled. It's a good thing we had that merchant lady change the Ceres Blastia for us. That's Kaufman for you. She always goes above and beyond in keeping her work. So luckily we still had the old Blastia around. Either way, looks like we'll be drifting out here for now. Looks that way. I'm worried about the ship's heading. I'll go check it out. What are Carol and Estelle up to? They're a bit down in the dumps. Why don't you go check in on them? You'd probably be better at cheering them up, old man. You know I'm not cut out for that stuff. Guess I've had a hand in dampening the mood around here, too. Might as well see how they're... I knew Judy's secret would get out someday, but not like this. A little heads up would have been nice. I don't know what to think about anything anymore. Mm, same. 